always good to have a interesting start so mm -hmm. hello hello we are live coming to you from the district pr facebook group my name is Sharo Hussain. I'm the District 95 PR manager, joined today by Tim Spear, the District 95 Club Growth Director. Why we are here? That's what you will find out if you join us and if you will watch us uh, at, in a recording, you'll still find out. <laughs> so, this, so how are you, Tim? Welcome. Well. I'm fine. It's the middle of the week. I'm now two and a half months in my new role as club growth director. And there's actually a lot to catch up, a lot to learn, as always, in every role at Postmasters. And it's great to meet so many interesting people and figure out, oh, how can we shape this year of Toastmasters in the district? That's fantastic. So. Today we, we're here, everyone, to announce the Toastmaster District 95 speech contest. Yay! Ooh. Don't have the <laughs> I don't have the sound effects as yet. We'll work, we'll bring them. So mm -hmm. in 2024, we're having the speech contest. And to learn more about it, we uh, have pulled in Tim. Uh, probably is uh, uh, sleep deprived he's not rested i know for a fact he's been doing so much of work but today uh, we want everyone to start dreaming like our slogan reach for your dreams so if you're interested in public speaking you've done your requirements you should try your level best to take part in the competition but before we do that tim i want to know what are your favorite things about the competition my favorite part about the competition is that people really get to their top uh, top performance performance during the competition that's not just the usual thing you give a speech at the club you yeah, you prepare uh, you are a little bit nervous and the speech is going well or not so well or maybe better than you expect but during the competition you train your speech with much more energy. And if you go to the next step, you train even more. You really work on that speech. You figure out, OK, how can I use my, my gestures? How can I use a special word? How can I really make a punchline at the end? How can I really grab the attention of the audience right from the start? And people learn so much from focusing really on one speech, not by writing a new speech, getting in a new topic, but really getting into what it is about to connect with the audience. And that's so great about the speech contest to find out how people improve over the journey and how great ideas people have in their, in their speeches and what, what interesting stories they actually have to tell. That's fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm getting excited. I've never been to uh, the competition, but this year I have full intentions to attend. So we're about to reveal where it is if you don't know about it. So Tim, I'll let you do the honors. Where is the District 95 speech contest of 2024? Our next year's speech contest uh, will, on district level will take place in Duisburg on the second weekend of May, 10th to 12th of May. And yeah, we we're really excited how it will look. Um, we have a, a great location. You will hear about this in the upcoming weeks more from, yeah. from me and from uh, Java, our program quality director especially, and also from our um, uh, district conference chair, which we have now officially. Uh, I think we don't have him announced yet, but uh, you will hear about that a lot in the yeah. upcoming weeks. Yeah, I was I, I was afraid that you'll give away everything right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, so th it's 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 a build up. So now it's in Duisburg, Germany, 10th mm -hmm. to 12th of May. We're giving you ample time to plan your tickets mm -hmm. and everything. 
So there's a com question here, uh, which says, you know, why, what will I gain just to be part of the audience? You know, why should I join, you know? That's really hard to explain if you haven't been there yet. But if you have <laughs> once joined a district conference, that's it's just amazing to meet not just a corrupt room full of interesting, great, nice Toastmasters, but meet a whole conference room and not just conference room of 30 or 40 or 50 people. Meet then 100, 150, maybe 200 Toastmasters at our district conference and have all that energy, all that spirit and all that experience from the people who got through that Stay through, through the stages of the speech contest to really deliver a speech at their best and mm -hmm. have very, very interesting workshops also there and connect with all the clubs here what other people have done during the last year and achieved and gotten through maybe in their new role as president, as club growth director, <laughs> as PR manager. <laughs> Yes. And all that amazing experience you will hear at the end of the year. So that's really amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm excited because of what I've heard about the energy, the connection. Last year, uh, one of the participants in the district competition was Maria Bokova from Oslo. Uh, and it was really exciting what it was just exciting the build up and then she went she participated she still talks about it uh, and it, it she talks about connecting with so many different people and uh, so many people she was surprised to find out knows her uh, who knew her because she's been a toastmaster for such a long time and it, i think it brings in a very good positive energy so how many competitions are we looking at the same old uh, three competitions or oh well it's uh, basically the same setup so, so we have the official contests which take place as from uh, toastmasters international the international speech contest which is the prepared speech of five to seven minutes we have the table topics speech contest and the evaluation speech contest and yes. we will have uh, these contests also in German language. And we're still looking if we might bring up something else. But uh, for that, we will we are still <laughs> brainstorming and figuring out, OK, what might be of interest for our members in the district and who might be interested in organize all of that stuff. So if there are people out there who not only want to come to the conference, but also participate in the preparation, feel free to show yourself, get in contact with us. And I think there will be possibilities to help and support. That's fantastic to hear. We are, more people are joining us. It's very interesting. So the people who joined us, if you can share this to the other Toastmasters, that will be fantastic. Uh, we are looking at uh, uh the keeping an eye on the time as well where the competition as you said that is going to be in english and in Ger uh, german so three competitions in english and three competitions in german uh have i got that right yes that's correct yes that's that's amazing so if you're uh, planning to become a better uh, public speaker you can definitely prepare yourself mm -hmm. and uh let us know about any improvements that you think you want to add to the idea uh, any workshops that you're interested we can definitely look into it now is the time to speak because otherwise when we get into the planning phase hour by hour that's going to be a different situation and that at that point of time it will be hard to accommodate but maybe some idea that we can incorporate that would be fantastic you can uh, go to this website that you can see right now and uh, you can find all our details and uh, write to us. Uh, this is sorry for the being it too big, but it happens, you know, it's a live show. 
<laughs> okay, so next is okay, yeah, there's a new comment. It says great PR work. Hey, I'm gonna highlight that one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sorry, I can't uh, see your name because StreamYard has this little issue with Facebook where the names are not uh, displayed to us. So you can write your name uh, or where, whichever club you are representing. That's fantastic. And yes, my next question is, um, after how many competitions have you actually attended? Um, if you don't mind sharing, Tim. Uh district as a participant i attended actually in i think three competitions the first uh, was quite new i was um taking part in the table topics contest nice and i don't remember what was the question but i remember i said some sort of a blackout i didn't know okay what's what's that i, I have nothing on my mind and just kept on talking something and until i see the saw the green sign and Afterwards, on my way home, I thought, oh, actually, last week something happened to me. I would have had the perfect story for that question. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happens. Uh, that's life. And at the next year, I was taking part in the prepared speeches, and it was quite well. I already came to area level. And then I had another speech in the next year. And after that, I applied for area director. and. And if you are in an official elected role, okay, area director is appointed, but that's special. If you if you go for a division director or a different elected role, or you have an official role on district level, unfortunately, you cannot take part anymore in the in the competition. Yeah, but uh, but, but it's 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 still great to to see all the other people and uh, you can learn a lot actually also by helping in the organization and seeing how others progress yeah that's an important point because toastmas is not just about the speech competition it's also about leadership development and responsibility is the best teacher for leadership <laughs> and uh, whether you like it or not it puts you in a place of taking decisions. It puts you in a place of uh, thinking, mm -hmm. which is uh, for a bigger cause than yourself. So it helps a lot. So that's fantastic. Uh, I just wanted to share this with everybody. And uh, I, uh, again, tickers acting up. Stop, behave yourself. Yes, now the ticker is going to behave. Yes, that's what I wanted to put in. Save the date, 10th to 12th May, 2024, for the, the Toastmasters District 95 speech contest. Yes, coming back, uh, the other thing that I wanted to know is, how does this competition work? How many contestants can participate? Can you just shed some light about it? Um, it works. From, from bottom up, but on, on the district level and the final competition, we have one representative from each, each division. So we will have eight finalists okay. in hopefully each speech contest. And of course, the divisions will derive their contestants from their, from their contest, from their area contests, and their, from the club level. So I encourage everyone take part in the speech contest as a so, participant or as an organizer or maybe in both as you see there are several uh, speech contests you can participate for example in the table topics and help organize the evaluation speech contest yes uh, what I wanted to highlight here what Tim told you about is that district 95 is further divided into eight divisions each division will have their own champion. And you you may remember this dialogue from the movies, send us your champions. So <laughs> the divisions will send in their champions and uh, those eight will then have a competition at the district level. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're not talking about the German competition. German will have their own eight champions or six or four mm -hmm. that is will be determined by, uh, by who enters but the english the international speech competition 
uh, will have eight divisional champions, which is also an honor because I'll give you an example of the district. The district has about 140 clubs around. So you've got to participate and out of 140 clubs, every club should have the club champion. And then the club champion goes and participates in the area competition. And then the area uh, winners go and participate in the division competition. This time, it's all in person. All competitions will be in person. And thank you, Facebook user. We will see you there. If only people would write their name, that would be fantastic. <laughs> so the divisional, so the area champions then uh, go head on in the divisions, and then the divisions then produce their champions and send their champions to the district. So I know it sounded like a PhD paper, but it's easy when you're practicing it. Yeah. Okay. So my daughter just decided to come into the room. Yeah. And this is live going all over the world. <laughs> okay. So that happens. It's live. Again, so this was a question from uh, Area B2. Uh, Jiv wants to know, will there be a ward prize for the division area club, which has maximum number of participants as audience as a district conference? That is an interesting idea. That's a very interesting idea. Yeah? I, we will, I think we will definitely think about it, <laughs> how we can do something with that idea. That sounds great. I think the corporate clubs will have an edge for this because they can sponsor it, they can uh, plan out uh, a workshop with us. Corporate, uh, you know, clubs can have that and sponsor some some of the workshops. And this could be a great idea, having an award for the division or the area which has the maximum number of participants attending the district conference. That's a good idea, Jiv, from Area B2. We will definitely look into that. Any other ideas or anything? We'd love to hear from you. So finally, anything you want to say or add, uh, Tim? Well, take part in the contest. It's really an experience that will move you forward as a participant, as an organizer. And also, if you just join in the audience, it's an amazing experience and we hope to get as many Toastmasters connected as possible. And I, I'm very excited to see a lot of you again next year. And I'm very excited to meet a lot of you the first time. That's fantastic. And in the end, before I go, I'd like to request you to please share this with your clubs talk about the competition. It is important. The maximum people that participate, it just helps people communicate better. And uh, you can reach out to us through our website. Uh, this will be a big, <laughs> sorry, Tim, <laughs> toastmasters-95.org. It helps yeah, you grow. You, you can point <laughs> it that way, you know? <laughs> it's like a window. Well, so if you visit that website and you can reach out to us uh, and remember what our brand lead talks says, I'll put her text at branding is trust and we've got to have it. And yeah, she may not be in front, but she is with us right now. So thank you, Jules, for supporting us today at such a late hour. Thank you. And uh, we'll catch you in the next live stream. Thank you, District 95. Bye. Bye.